Howdy and hello today, I am Jonah, and today we're back with another video, well, every day I am Jonah, but today we're back with another video, yes, today, it's a special video because it's my first video that I am no longer in high school, wait, fix this real quick, or for that matter, any kind of school, I'm not in college yet, I'm out of school, I'm free. It's a big deal because for 13 years it's been quite hard. It's been a very, very trying struggle. Being the different person that I am with my different disabilities and whatnot. I say disabilities, I only have one. Technically two, but really just one. Um, I was never treated well in school. I didn't have too, too many friends. I had a lot, but not too, too many. And when I say friends, I mean people I could call upon and right then they would help me. Not just people that, you know, you don't know anybody else in the classroom and you met him at lunch one time or he was in one of your classes in the past year and you're like, oh, I know you, I can sit with you and feel comfortable. No, real friends. Like my friends BJ, my friend Alex, those are my two good friends. But even my friend Mason, those guys. But that's only three and that's really what I have. I mean, I have more than that, but, you know, it took a long time to get there. Um, education has not always been a strong suit for me either. I mean, hell, I remember being in elementary school and they would be testing me and stuff because that's what you do when you're in SPED, which is special education for special needs people, is half the time you're in class, the other half you're in some kind of stupid resource room doing stupid tests for no stupid reason. But, you know, uh, and they never really did anything. I mean, they just told me I was dumb, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, but I was never dumb in English, I'll tell you that. Social studies, English, and science, I was always good at. But math, even to this day, I'm not very good at. We're still waiting results on that TSI test I took the other day, but, you know, whatever. But, um, so, I, I, anyway, I always remember being tested for math, and they're like, he's not very good at math. Like, no, really? I would never go to guess. No, wait, I would, because it's me. But, um, I was good at math for a while, actually. I was good from kindergarten to first grade. Well, I say kindergarten, you didn't learn math in kindergarten. From first to third, first to third grade. And then after fourth grade, she was an idiot, the teacher. And then they didn't teach me until eighth grade. It was awesome. And then freshman year through soft junior year, everyone was an idiot. And then senior year, they somewhat taught me. So, I still don't know much math. That is not going to affect me though, as I think the career that I really want to go into, or I would like to maybe try, is kind of not really 100% requiring math. It really just depends. Um, this video is kind of random. I know it's it's not like anything specific, but it's me talking about just me being you know free from high school and school in general. You know, I wasn't really well received, uh, you could say. I, I, I honestly don't want to mince words. I was bullied a lot because I was different and because I did things differently. When I was a kid, I got locked up in the office a lot because they didn't know what to do with me. So as a high schooler, I was always very rambunctious and outgoing and bouncing off the walls. And, you know, everyone was always angry. You know, why are you bouncing off the walls? Why can't you just stand still? Because when you're locked up in an office for six years in detention for no reason, you don't really have the chance to waste energy. So, for seven years, we came back and we really hit them hard. I wasn't in high school for seven years. The uh, other three years were intermediate school because it was awesome. But anyway, as I digress, the ceremony last night for graduating was really nice. Uh, we sat in a bunch of chairs, kind of prepped ourselves, hyped ourselves up. Walked through the stadium with our class song, which I still don't know what it is, but I don't care. Did you know we have a class flower? Like, what? If I was to represent a, a flower, I'm sorry, I'm opening the fridge, because I, I don't know. But if I was to represent a flower that would describe the class of 2021, it would be whatever dead flower I find. <laughs> or stepped on one or something, I don't know. Not the brightest bulbs in the bunch, but... Um, but yeah, so it was nice. We sat down, listened to our school song. There was a nice slideshow of uh, pictures of everybody. 
uh, there was one picture I think that I was in and it was me, my friend BJ and Alex at a go-kart place because we love cars and go-karts, at least me and Alex do, but you know, BJ, BJ likes go-karts. Me and Alex like the full package, you know, cars and racing. But um, we sat down and they were, you know, a couple speeches, the principal, the, the new superintendent who, by God, has a, I don't even know how to describe it. You can just make fun of him so easy because he has like a squeaky voice. Like you would have thought, like if, if, you, if you ever seen the movie Madagascar, where it's like the lion and the zebra, hippo and giraffe, and they're running away. And then they actually go to the country, Madagascar, the little island. And they have that guy, the King Julian. That little, um, little, little small one, Mort. He's always yelling at, you know, the King Julian. That's what he sounds like. I'm not, jeez. Anyway, moving on, I digress. Um, he did a speech, our valedictorian and solidatorian. I have no idea. Second, you know, not as good as valedictorian, valedictorian, did a speech, and then we committed, you know, commenced with the ceremony, had some fun, I got my diploma, I walked away, we went around midnight-ish and ate at IHOP for dinner, because that's what you do, I guess, and I then went to a place called Urban Air Adventure Park from like 1 to 5 in the morning with the entire senior class, it's awesome. Got to race once because was, there was go-karts there, so it was cool. I got to race once. I got first place because of an accident in the first car because he kept breaking the rules, so they disqualified him, but I would have won anyway because he was a bad driver. And then there was other stuff like the Skyrider. It was fun. I'll explain it in another video maybe one day if I vlog there or something. I should have vlogged there last night, but there were like way too many people I knew to be like uncomfortable with, but that's okay. Anyway, I just want to make it a quick video to say thank you. I'm free. So I'll let you guys know that more vlogs will be coming out. Also to apologize that I've not been vlogging because I've had so much to do with graduation and parties and not parties, but you know, events and whatnot. But alright, so anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Shout out to the first person to watch the video. And everyone who watched the video, I don't even have a subscriber goal anymore. I mean, I guess we could say, because we beat the one for my birthday, so let's say... Let's have a subscriber goal of 50, another 25, so basically 50 subscribers by August the 1st, kind of that end of the summer time frame where it's going back to school. So August the 1st, 50 subscribers, that's our new goal. So like the video, subscribe to get that us our goal in August. And comment down below if there's anything you want me to see, talk, or do in Texas, about Texas, what have you, because I really like Texas and vlogging. So thank you, and I will see you all in my next vlog tomorrow. Have a good day, good night, goodbye. <clears throat> Sorry. Goodbye.